What's up, what's up? My name is Be Love, and I'm here to talk. Just chat, say a few things that's on my heart. Uh, you know, you're looking at my face. Like, what is on his face? What's all this? Actually, those are tattoos. See, my past life, I had a bunch of tattoos on my face. Like, that's not too much to be talking about. I ain't worried about that. But anyways, today I want to talk about love. Mm -hmm. And why I'm using this whimsical approach to you is so that you can tap into your inner childlike nature, inner childlike way of seeing things, way of learning things. Because children, they're very uh, hopeful, they're very open, they're very honest, they're very vulnerable. They're not adapted to protect themselves. They're not trying to protect themselves. They're just trying to explore and experience life. And so I want to talk to you in a whimsical way to provoke that explorer inside of you, right? That spirit being that you are, right? All right, so there's a song. I'm not going to sing it. Should I sing it? Yeah, I sing it. Love your enemies Or you'll become your enemies You see the real enemy Is trying to keep your eyes from seeing Seeing the truth, the truth, the truth The truth about you, about you about you you are love 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 you are love 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 all right so that's a song as a title of what i'm about to share with you talking about how you are love and the importance of loving your enemies the importance of pursuing love the importance of living a life that is loving living a life that is very doing good to others and you know things like that so jesus taught love your enemies do good to those who don't do good to you bless those who actually curse you um pray for those who despitefully use you yeah pray for those so he's teaching you how to go against the grain of not just what your enemy is communicating to you because your enemy is communicating that you are his enemy so you're going against the grain of that whole narrative. And you're going against the grain of your inner narrative that says, I feel like a victim. Yeah. When you feel like a victim, you want to fight or flight. Yeah. You want to respond or you want to run. And either one makes you more traumatized by what you experienced. You see, when you were younger, you didn't understand how to understand your identity and respond from your true identity. All you knew was to follow the feeling. So you took the bait of being a victim. And as a result, you either fought or you ran. You either fight or you flight. And that causes us to grow up with this illusion of trauma. You know? And and we're trying to get healed from this trauma. Healed, going to the counselors, going to psychologists, all these different people. But in reality, the healing is found in love. The healing is found in forgiveness. The healing is found in doing good to those. Because the beauty about loving your enemies is it's not a face, per se, that you're forgiving. It's an energy, right? So somebody could have did you wrong 100 years ago, right? And you got this ought against this person. But then someone with the same energy you work with and they're acting the same way and it triggers you, right? And it makes you feel like... Uh, and it just triggers you into this victim state that in that victim state has a storehouse of, of experiences that built him to be a victim. And therefore he's like trying to defend and trying to fight and, and, and it's almost like the tip of the iceberg. Like the person gets the tip of the iceberg and that person responds in fight or flight. But in reality, if you forgive that person, if you love that person, if you actually take steps towards a new narrative, you're actually not only rewriting the experience and overriding the um, the resistance that you're facing in that person, you're actually also overriding your emotional and mental traumatized perspective of you and others. And therefore, you're erasing that chalkboard full of 
sand castles and mountains and mohills, and you are writing and drawing a beautiful sunrise. Yeah. So it may seem like I love that, I love shmuv. Love is stupid, uh, it's not true. I tried that, I tried that. But one thing you must understand is you don't try love, you are love. Mm -hmm. And love is not just you. It's not just the I of your own human efforts. Love is in union and connection with God himself. Love is inseparable from the creator of the universe. Mm -hmm. And love is immortal, impossible to kill. You can't take from a giver. Yeah. Love is rooted and grounded in stability and identity. Yeah. And love is all these beautiful aspects and attributes. Love isn't just the doing of, uh, I love you, okay. <laughs> no, love actually is sourced in God. And when you move in the way of love, follow the way of love, you actually begin to discover even deeper this union with God that you are. Yeah. God is the great I am. And you are an extension of that I am. He's the ocean and you are the river. And so you want to practice this. Mm -hmm. Everyone, everyone has to face the love test. There's not one monk or man on the mountain in this world that doesn't have to face the tests of love. Yeah, even if you're the test of love is you loving yourself. Mm -hmm. Everyone has to face the test of love. No one is exempt. So when you're driving, driving your car, and you like, and somebody comes to you and like, cuts you off and you're like, what? I... What you gonna do about that? You gonna curse him or you gonna bless him? Step into that action of blessing. Because when you step into that action, you're no longer being derailed like a like a train is, is carrying cargo and then gets derailed onto a new track. You're no longer getting derailed onto the track of combat. Mm-hmm. You're getting derailed. I mean, you're staying on the rail of love and compassion and understanding because this is who you are. This ain't what you just do it. This is your true identity. You don't want to blind yourself to your true identity just because you feel the feeling of combat, just because you feel the feeling of opposition. You don't want to blind yourself of your true identity. You want to respond with who you really are. Mm -hmm. Try it. Try it, and let me know how that goes. And I'm going to keep posting these videos. And maybe when somebody asks, hey, how did you start growing in love? like, yeah, I got counsel from this puppet. <laughs> From this puppet, and this puppet spoke the truth. And it, wait, this puppet got hold, uh, ran hold in his hand. Who is this puppet? Be love. Who is that really? Who is that puppet really? See, Jesus in disguise. <laughs> but so, I got so much I want to share with you about this love that you are. Just walk into a grocery store and just express yourself. Look for someone to love. Look for someone to have compassion on. You practice that. You, you'll, you'll just grow. You'll grow in identity. Because your identity is found in love. Love is who you are. God doesn't want you to just go to church, hear a sermon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Sing a song. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. He doesn't want you to do all that. And miss the real point. He wants you to be who you are, which is love. So, be love, like me, I'm love. My name is Be Love. You, be love. Practice it, let's see how that goes. God bless you.